Reading Pioneers is proud to present Chinatown by William Lowe. I live in Chinatown with my mother, father, and grandmother. Our apartment is above the Chinese American grocery store. Every morning, Grandma and I go for a walk through Chinatown. We hold hands before we cross the street. Watch out for cars, Grandma, I tell her. Most days, the Tai Chi class has already begun by the time we get to the park. Students, young and old, move in the sunlight like graceful dancers. We always stop and say hello to Mr. Wong, the street cobbler. If our shoes need fixing, Mr. Wong can do the job. Just like new! And at a good price, too, says Mr. Wong. Chinatown really wakes up when the delivery trucks arrive. Men with handcarts move quickly over the sidewalks and into the stores. Every day, Grandma and I walk past the Dai Dai restaurant. Roasted chicken is my favorite. But Grandma likes duck best. When it gets cold outside and Grandma needs to make medicinal soup, we visit the herbal shop. Inside, it is dark and smells musty. The owner, Mr. Chung, is bagging dried roots and herbs. Winter is here says Grandma. We must get our strength up. Sometimes, Grandma and I go for lunch at a seafood restaurant. I like to watch the fish swim in the tank. Grandma says, You won't find fresher fish than those in Chinatown. The kitchen in the restaurant is a noisy place. Hot oil sizzles, vegetables crackle, and walks clang and bang. The cooks shout to be heard. At the outdoor market, I can barely move. But we go there because Grandma likes to buy fresh snapping crabs for dinner. When the crabs seem furious, Grandma is pleased. The angrier the crabs, the tastier the meat, she says. On Saturdays, I take lessons at the Kung Fu School. Master Lung teaches us a new move each week. To develop your body and your mind, says Master Lung, you must practice every day. My favorite holiday is Chinese New Year. During the celebrations, the streets of Chinatown are always crowded. Be sure to stay close by, Grandma says. On New Year's Day, the older kids from my Kung Fu school march to the beat of thumping drums. Grandma and I try to find a good place to watch, and I tell her that next year I'll be marching too. The New Year's Day parade winds noisily through the streets. Look, Grandma, I say. Here comes the lion! Firecrackers explode when the lion dances over. I turn to Grandma, take her hand, and say, 
Kung hei fat choy, Grandma. She smiles at me. And a happy new year to you too. Thank you everyone for reading along with us to the story of Chinatown. I'm not familiar with Chinese words, especially if they're written in English, so I apologize if I've made any mistakes. If you enjoy the story and like learning about other cultures, comment below your thoughts and tell me what type of culture you'd like to learn about next. If you're new to this channel, you can also like and subscribe to keep up to date with all future videos being uploaded by Reading Pioneers. Here are a couple of stories that I think you guys will enjoy until the next video. Well, that's it for now. So until next time, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Bye-bye.